Hi there, it's Lone Wolf from Wolf Territory's Grid, and here I am in an island that's a little bit of a mess, and I want to show you how to use GIMP to generate terrains. So I've got a blank uh, 1024 by 1024 image here, just, I'm just going to black it out. So I have my uh, settings, so my, um, my foreground is black, my background is a kind of grey colour. I have also need to switch this, change it to a grayscale mode, like that, so now we're ready. Now, GIMP comes with loads of things that make it really easy to just generate trains really quickly. So we go to Render, Noise, okay, so let's start with Simplex Noise so you can get an idea. If I take my scale down, you can see it moves right down, like this. You can generate some quite interesting um, iterations. If you take the iterations up, so you can develop more of an islandy type feel. So I'm going to just do this, I'm going to hit OK like that. Now what I do is I use the spray paint, so I've got it set like this, I've got a spray gun, so get my spray gun out and I'll go around the outside of the region because obviously we don't want to have um, we don't want to have these jag the edges where it just kind of props up in the air. Obviously if you're doing more regions you can use the, the split functions to change the size of it and split it, so that's that gives me a kind of a terrain with um, black edges, which means that that's water, so the water is black so now I'm going to go ahead and export it, file, export to a PNG file. Now if you're on Windows you might have to convert it to a um, convert it to a raw file, you can do that with online converters. So I'm just going to upload, so I'm going to go to my downloads where I've exported this file to and I'm going to go to change this to all files like this. Now this might, yeah on Windows you might have to change it, convert it to a raw file. Upload, now just wait for a second and that very height map that I just made will load up in inside here okay, I don't need to do anything with that so let's just get rid of that for a second just give it a second to load there it goes okay so this is what the height map looks like I've just made and as you can see it's, it's quite mountainous uh, it's quite a mountainous height map but you can do other things as well so you're not just limited to um, doing these mountains there's different filters you can use so while that's loading Let's go back and look at some other filters. So we can go to filters, render. Okay, this is one I quite like. Um, noise, uh, difference clouds I quite like. So um, in fact, we need to start with a blank um, canvas there. So I'll just quickly, you can actually use this. This was quite an interesting experiment, but uh, for now I'm just gonna um, fill, I'll just fill it black. Or white, this really matters. So difference clouds looks like a bit like a river isn't it so the the whiter it is the higher the terrain is and the so if I just swap that around there we go let's just black it out okay just so that we've got it ready um, and then I'll just use my spray swap that around again and use my spray paint GIMP's a free tool so it's pretty neat so there we go that'll do for now so um, I go to render again tools sorry filters render and there's lots of different options you can try out. So um, difference clouds gives a much more cloudy kind of thing. So let's put some. Just again, got my spray paint out just so that I can make the regions look okay. There we go. Now, if I want to make it, I mean that's going to be quite tall. I can tell you that just by looking at it. So I mean, I could put a river in as well if I want to make that smaller, like that. I can make a river through there quite happily. In fact I'm just going to make that a bit bigger to make it a bit more realistic. There we go. Yeah, we'll put a river through there. You can see how easy it is. There we are like, like this. Now um, this nice blurriness means they're going to be quite shadowed so I'm going to put some, I'll try and encourage you know put a lake in the middle of it that would be nice. But also what I'll do is I'm going to take the, the brightness down a little bit um, using brightness and contrast. You see it's just experimentation really so let's take it down a bit because I don't want it to be as tall as that so now we've got a, a basic uh, terrain let's just quickly write that out um, and you can see you can pretty quickly generate terrains there's the one we just made because it's quite it's it's quite tall see how big I am compared to these big mountains and if you want that and obviously you can experiment and make it as big or as small as you want so let's upload another terrain this is Linux, it behaves a bit funny sometimes. <laughs> the downloads, and again, to change this to all files. Again, if you're on Windows, you might have to find a raw 
file converter that converts PNG to raw. Um, I don't know why they insist on doing that, so I'm just going to wait for a couple of minutes. Let's upload that terrain that I've just loaded. There it goes. And you can see this is a much smoother terrain. But again, it's all it's all computer generated. This is, in fact, I quite like this terrain. I'll probably keep this terrain for this region. Let's let, it, let it res. Let it draw the terrain out. There you go. So you've got quite nice beachy kind of areas. It's quite smooth. So obviously you can scroll back through the video and see the different types of terrains you can make in game. I am working on a way for my users to be able to randomly generate a terrain um, on the web so they'll be able to log into their control panel, choose choose a region and randomly generate a terrain and then apply it to a region. Um, so that's all in the pipeline. So yeah. Anyway, so that's that. If you want to come and see me, it's at grid.wolfterritories.org um, at colon 8002 in your map and that will take us to welcome. I'm normally, I normally hang around wel welcome. Um, this is quite a nice terrain actually, it's turned out kind of okay, you can see it's quite smooth. You can imagine what sort of town or city or buildings you could make on this sort of terrain, just from nothing. And so it took it took me like five five minutes to generate in GIMP. There you go. I mean if you want to make a terrain that goes over multiple regions, all our regions are 1024 by 1024. Um, so we'd transform, we do scale image, um, so let's do it 2048 by 2048, double the size. Okay, now we'll zoom, view, zoom to 100%. Didn't plan to do this, but <laughs> no, view, zoom to fit is what we want. Fit imaging window, now we can see it now. So what we can do is create guides. So you go to image, guides, new guide by percent, again, 50%, isn't it? So 50%, and then image, guides, new guide by percent, and then on a vertical one, it's 50%, okay, and then we just do view, zoom, fit in window, fit, fit in window, so we can see it. Zoom, fit in window, fit in zoom, image, zoom, I'm not fighting zoom this morning, fit window, or whatever. So, okay, so if, and if I go to image, slice using guides, you can see it's made four, so I could load each of those onto, so that be the top left one, so that I could actually load that up to four regions and it will be four times the size, which is a really interesting thing to do. I hope that's helpful. That's a really fast way you can generate terrains using GIMP. It's it's really brilliant. Um, but the only the only little gotcha is that in Windows you might have to use um, an online raw file converter. So that's it from me, um, and I hope you will visit like Wolf Territories Grid. Uh, the website's grid.wolfterritories.org. Sign up for a free account. We've got over 1,100 regions, and um, if you want to sign up, if you want to get some land on Wolf Territories Grid, um, just go to shop.wtgrid.net, and that's got our shopping site for buying land. And your land will be resed for you in about 10 to 15 minutes from you purchasing. It's all automated. Thanks very much. Uh, have a lovely day, and don't forget, of course, to head on over to our um, Open Sim Social. Mastodon for OpenSim users. We've got a lot of people posting here. It's really exciting. Um, there you go. So lots and lots of people posting things about their regions and everything like that. And you can get a free display board at my welcome. Uh, gold screen. That's the best one. Let's pop that there. At my welcome, and that actually can hook, can actually be configured to hook up to that server and you can actually use specify hashtags which means that you can actually put your events on the on the mastodon server and then put it all over your put it all over your regions just by resing these boards and having them set with your hashtag hope that's helpful thanks very much sorry to be in here <laughs> i'll stop going on and on now <coughs> so yeah you can get your boards here at welcome uh where are they they're over here somewhere there they are um there's the boards, comes with instructions. Uh, give us a shout if you need any help. Thanks very much. Finally, give, ending this great long video, nine minutes. <laughs>